Bless you, my saints. I just want to um, share a word that the Lord put in my heart. And is that many are called, but few are chosen. Each one of us have a purpose in our life to do what God has called us. And um, if we look at the book of um, Luke and in the book of Matthew, in the book of Acts, um, there talks about how... Um, the Lord is calling out to people and in many, many ways and to to come to the kingdom of God, to receive the word of God, to go out and preach the gospel, to go out to do the Great Commission. And yes, we're going to see that uh, many are going to reject it. But um, again, many are called and few are chosen. And we got to be diligent about our, about our call and diligent about what the Lord is calling us to do. This is uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ is an urgent gospel. People are going to hell every single day, folks. No one knows the day of the hour or the hour that they take their last breath. And it is an urgent, urgent, urgent and good news that we have to share with people. And again, a book of uh, Luke 14, starting with uh, starting with verse 16, the Lord is talking about the parable of uh, the Great Supper. Okay, so verse 16, he said uh, to him, a certain man gave a great supper and invited many. Uh, and again, this is spoken also about in Matthew 22 um, as well. And he sent his servant at supper, at supper time to say to those who were invited, Come, for all things are now ready. So the Lord is calling us to his kingdom, to, to do his will, to surrender to the Lord Jesus Christ, to be born again and be uh, courageous. Um, amen. And so, uh, but they all with one accord began to make excuses. The first said to him, I have bought a piece of ground and I must go, I must go and see uh, I must go and see it and I ask you to have me excused and so this speaking of of us today how many excuses do we make and do we give the Lord before we go out and do what he said to do and so it's it's a call for us to examine ourselves and to uh, it's the Lord uh, nudging us hey uh, I'm calling you to do this I am knocking on your door I am I'm nudging you I'm trying to, to bring you to me and it is time to uh, go out there and and preach the gospel and reach people but you're going to see many that are are doing the excuses that are giving excuses and another said I have bought five yoke of oxen and I'm going to test them I ask you now to have me excused still another said I have married a wife and therefore I cannot come so the, the many, many excuses that people give. So that servant came and reported these things to his master. And then the master of the house being angry. Do we understand the consequences when we just, uh, um, just people are so indifferent and, and apathetic about the Lord and his call. His call to salvation, his call to serve him, his call to be obedient. And there's a consequence to, to that, to ignoring him. In the book of Revelation, he talks about that he's knocking at the door. That whoever will open the door, he will come in and sup with him. And so the same thing. Um, his master being angry, right? Verse 21. Then so that servant came and reported these things to his master. Then the master of the house being angry said to his servant, go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bring in here the poor and the maim and the lame and the blind. And the servant said, master, it is done as you commanded. And that's how we have to be when we answer the Lord Jesus Christ. It is done as he commanded. Diligent. This is for all of us. And so it is done as you commanded. And still there is room. There's still room. Then the master said to the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, highways and byways, and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. For I say to you that none of those men who were invited shall taste my supper. 
And that is talking about many are called and few are chosen, folks. And the consequences of not uh, answering and, and, and rejecting the Lord is hell, fire, eternal damnation. I will read that to you in, uh, in Matthew 22. But before that, the part where he says, Go out in the highways and byways and compel them to come in, to come into the house of the living God. In the book of Second Corinthians 5, uh, it's talking about it knowing therefore the terror of the Lord knowing therefore the terror of the Lord we persuade man knowing the terror of rejecting the Lord Jesus Christ that is an eternal damnation we compel man we persuade man that they will be converted to be born again and have eternal life that the Lord freely give us by believing in him and by grace by faith thank you jesus and so um in that same verse that 24 that it talks about for i say to you that none of those men who were invited shall taste my supper it makes reference to acts 13 46 and that was when paul and barnabas were uh, preaching the gospel and the jews uh, were full of envy and contradicting and blaspheming and they were rejecting the gospel and salvation being brought to them and paul and barnabas grew bold okay and the in the midst of persecution in the midst of opposition we are to grow bold and courageous bold as, as, as lions the righteous are to be bold as lions and so Paul said, uh, it was necessary that the word of God should be spoken to you first, to the Jews first. But since you reject it, okay, just like we saw in the supper, since you reject it um, and judge yourselves unworthy of everlasting life, behold, we turn to the Gentiles. And so they did. They went to the Gentiles to preach the gospel. And so it's a, it's a, again, many are called, but few are chosen. And we just got to uh, keep front and center uh, that we have to fear the living God. Amen. Um, in Matthew 22, in verse 4, I'm going to say, uh, again, he sent out other servants saying, Tell those who are invited, see, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen and fatted cattle and killed and all the things are ready. Come to the wedding. But they made light of it they made light of it they didn't care and went their way see and and uh, one to his farm and another to his business again it's it, it's it's uh symbolizing that people make light of it when god is calling and calling and crying out to us and we don't even care we don't even pay attention we ignore him and on that last day when people uh but they tell wide open because they rejected the Lord Jesus Christ. They did not listen to the Christ of the Lord and they kept ignoring him. They will remember then all the times that God tried to get them back to him. All the times that God was calling them and it'll be too late. There's nothing more urgent to preach than hellfire, folks, and salvation. To preach the whole gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, try to um, win lost souls for the kingdom of God. Again, um, without going into the whole uh, uh, verses here of Matthew 22, but it's again the, the parable of the wedding feast. And those uh, then then he said in verse 8 to his servants then the wedding is ready but those who were invited were not worthy were not worthy to enter into the kingdom of god uh luke 13 it talks about in luke 13 and, and matthew 7 about striving to enter in through that narrow road otherwise they will not be able to get in and so again uh back to matthew 22 um, they were not worthy. Therefore, go into the highways and byways, and as many as you find, invite to the wedding. So the servants went out into the highways and gathered together all whom they found, both uh, bad and good, and the wedding hall was filled with guests. But the king came in to see the guests. He saw a man there, there who did not have on a wedding garment. 
He did not have a wedding garment. Okay. Uh, and so these are the righteousness of, of the saints in the book of Revelation 19. Uh, eight, it talks about the, the righteous acts of the saints, okay? And so he said to him, friend, how did you come in here without a garment, uh, without a wedding garment? And he was speechless. And see, people will be speechless on the day of judgment because your entire life is revealed before your eyes of what you did and what you didn't do and how you are judged and you completely understand what you did in your life. And at that point, your judgment is set. And if it's for bad, if it's for, for uh, eternal hell fire, it's too late. And so that's, that's why I, I bring these messages for people to realize how serious it is. Um, then the king said to his servants, bind him hand and foot, take him away and cast him into outer darkness. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. This hellfire, folks, that's judgment. Many are called, but few are chosen. So I leave you with that. Let us examine ourselves and make sure that we are in the will of the Lord Jesus Christ, that we are abiding in him, that we are doing his will, and that we are using our time wisely to bring forth everything that he puts in your heart, everything he puts in mind, everything that he gives us to do, no matter how small it is. Do not despise small beginnings because the Lord will increase you and give you more. And so I love you. I bless you. May this, this message set you on fire for the Lord Jesus Christ. If you've been kind of on the fence and lukewarm, make this day to come back to the Lord Jesus. Come back to the Lord and serve him with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul and love him. And so, and to love him is to obey him. Okay. And so I love you. I bless you until soon again, Lord willing, be blessed.